what's going on guys um ah this is in this video of the subframe swap my gosh is it awful the night we did this we was just so focused on trying to get the job done that trying to film just become impossible so it's hit and miss this video it's all over the place we're trying to do like two two videos in one night because we also made a dashboard uh for the truck as well so i apologize for how bad this is at the moment but my mate charlie and sean i want to thank you both because without this night like it wouldn't have been possible so charlie did some extra welding off site for us and sean was obviously doing the welding on site so like i said apologies for how bad this editing is i've literally just thrown this video together like a couple of weeks later so there's nothing i can really do about the editing size it's not like i can quickly go film it again now so like I said, bear with us. It's a lot of talking in it. Um, at the end, I've thrown in some pictures so you can kind of understand more than what what we were trying to do. But yeah, it's done. It's all in. And uh, enjoy. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Got Sean. Are you seeing uh, the engine removal? <laughs> um, just tackling some minor welding because I can't take the uh, truck out because obviously it's still primer. So what we're going to do is uh, finish off a couple of rust patches. I've got two or three spots on the back bar and then two bits in the engine bay, which I think I've shown you in a previous video. Um, and then we're going to start some suspension modifications, but that's a whole other video. That, uh, that, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, excuse me, it's cold and uh, I haven't got a lot of memory on my phone because I've been doing loads of other videos with my little cousin, so that's taken up quite a bit of memory. So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet and just keep it in the general bodywork video. Um, but then we do the suspension stuff, like I said, holding up a video. So uh, Sean's cutting out some rust. And uh, yeah, we'll crack on with that. So we've got this patch here. There's another patch just here we've got to sort out and I might try and uh, re-sort these out. These are probably hinges these for... These ones stay though. Huh? Them ones are supposed to be there. Yeah. They they're meant to... Uh, they're both going to be there. It's for the hinge yeah. for the tailgate. Okay. Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> Double hinge. Double hinge, I guess so. I don't really know to be honest. So um, I think today's going to be a day of winging it. Good <laughs> Don't video that. <laughs> Pigeon boy. Hey Rob. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to a very dark workshop of the Spencer Peacock Racing YouTube channel. Today we have lasers. Lewis is about to be assassinated. And uh, we are working out the center line of where the axle would go. So we're marking that all up, trying to do it as professional as possible. Um, we've probably spent about three hours or so lining this up. We've lined up an MX-5 subframe and we're getting rid of the solid axle and leaf spring and replacing it with an MX-5 uh, rear subframe so I can have independent rear suspension. Once that's all done, we're gonna then make some custom mounts for the front so I can run front MX-5 wishbones and then I obviously have to make a, a top hat for the front and rear. And uh, yeah, it's been a stressful one, hasn't it, Sean? Cars for you, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the workshop's very dark. With the lights on, we can't see the lasers. So we're having to use phone lights to see everything, what we're doing. Um, I might document this in pictures rather than videos, just so it's easier, so I don't spend all my time on the camera. But yeah, we're trying to work out the center line. So when we bolt the suspension in, uh, the subframe in, we're gonna weld the subframe to the chassis legs and we're going to bolt the subframe to the brackets we're going to make um, so then we can still drop the subframe if we need to do any form of maintenance so sean's just marking up the lines now as you can see uh, the previous owner has done a chassis notch on this so we're having to work around his work um, we're not worried if his is straight or not because we're making our own stuff which will be straight and uh yeah it's going to be the first i believe ever mazda b with a MX-5 suspension set up in the front and rear. So, beds off, got that in the workshop with the other MX-5. 
and uh, yeah, laser, laser, fun, fun, lots of marking and measuring and trying to get it perfectly right first time because I don't want to be driving a, how long do you reckon this is? 12 foot? What's that? The whole truck. Yeah. Well, including the bed? Including the bed, probably. Yeah, I don't want to be crabbing along the motorway when I'm driving, so uh, yeah. 13, 14 it's going to be fun. What are you doing, boys? Say that again. What are you doing, boys? Uh, just cleaning up the paint when we uh, prep the chassis, just so we've got something nice to, to weld to, because we're going to have to make some tabs, because the subframes, I think it was two inches short, wasn't it? E each side. Um, so we're going to have to make some L brackets, so just clean up all the paint so we've got something nice to uh, weld onto, basically. More timber? Yeah, loads up there. No, it's thick. Uh, yeah, I've got another one. Yeah. Okay, so we basically just cleaned up the rough areas where we are going to be welding onto uh, both sides of the chassis. We're just trying to get it perfectly level. It's still on the ground at the moment, so tire pressures and the the leaf and shocks are the only thing. What's going to be the contributing factor to it being unlevel? So we're going to get it up nice and level in a second, and then we're going to remove this axle and leaf springs. And then we can then mock up the MX-5 subframe into here. I've got some eight mil, both 80 by eight mil, that's what it is, uh, plate. And we're basically gonna make some L brackets that sit either side onto the subframe, uh, onto the chassis legs. So they'll be welded onto this chassis and then bolted into the holes, which you might be able to see in the MX-5. So there's a couple in each corner and that's where it's gonna, go into <laughs> so yeah this bit's gonna be a bit boring just gotta drop the spring eye bolts out and then the uh top shocks on each side and then the whole subframe will uh axle will drop out uh we'll take them off uh okay so guys what we've done now is we've got the truck perfectly level we made some markings on uh the chassis legs so we know exactly where we're working we've got the level marked so we know exactly where the level's going to be for when we measure from the floor. We've worked out the level point in the floor as well. So, yeah, it's taken us a good little, good bit of, uh, good little bit of time to uh, get this far. But we're now getting ready to drop this axle and uh, get rid of it. And then we can start mocking up the subframe. This has been a little bit difficult now. Axle is out. We've now got the laser level out again. And we're lining up the subframe, MX-5 subframe into the truck. Um, so we've got centre points marked on the rear cross member, on the back of the bulkhead uh, of the cab, um, on the chassis tops either side, the subframes marked in centre in every direction. So now it's a case of lowering the, um, what's it called, I can't even think what I'm talking about now, the chassis of the truck down to the subframe. We've got some chocks what we've made, what we've taken a mock-up of of the race car. So basically the subframe is going to sit on the blocks and then we're going to drop the chassis down, uh, drop the subframe onto the blocks. The chassis then will go as close to the subframe as possible while working out the ride height. So we're going to have to chuck the bed back on, uh, get that set on. So then we can work out and make sure we're getting the right ride height for the tubs for the bed. And then from there, that's when we can start making the brackets up. Um, but I've only just realised that one of the coilovers that I've brought isn't assembled and I haven't got any spring compressors, which oh. is really freaking annoying. Um, but yeah, the OO in the spring compressors. No, I'm the amount of pain to come out of this pen. Oh, there's a brake cleaner up there. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a, not a lot of progress, but we've done an awful lot. Uh, if I showed you a picture, you're not really going to see much out of it. That's too much. Too <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go and move this over. Oh. So, subframe is in place. We've got the right ride height. I've realized I'm gonna have to run some bigger wheels and some bigger tires. Probably have to go like 16 or 17s and uh, some big like 60 profile tires or something like that. Don't know yet. But the subframe is perfect in place. We've got the bed on. We're now just making up the L brackets for to bolt the subframe to the chassis legs of the truck. Um, just dug out an old um, pillar drill drill 
knockoff thing that I used to have. So Sean's doing a nose. I've just been cleaning up more bit of the truck and uh, everything is perfect in place. I cannot stress enough how long we have gone along with this laser. Without this laser, none of this would have been possible. So that was only a 40 quid screw fix um, jobby. So happy with that. Um, then we'll be able to get the subframe half mounted in because I have to move the truck back to the other side of the workshop so my old man can park his truck in there because it's so cold at the moment, it's just freezing everything. Um, we're at the highest point in the area we live, so it is freezing. But yeah, it's all going good. And uh, probably about an hour, the subframe will be bol bolted in place. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. So Sean's doing a bit of the welding. We've made up some plates. I'm trying not to get an arc eye here for myself. So we've made up some L plates. So they're going to be bolted to the subframe, welded to the ladder chassis. And they're going to do the same this side. We're going to get those in. Uh, we're probably going to call it a day on that, potentially. We might try and do the back ones, don't know yet. But we're going to try and keep this cross member in and make them from this point here. So, hey? Eh? Yeah, we'll drill it out. And uh, it'll still allow us to keep a removable subframe. Um, I'm going to just... For my racing, I'm going to have a couple of subframes that I'm going to build up for this year, so all with different ratios, so rather than changing the diff. All different colours. All different colours as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so they'll just be drop-in, drop-out jobs, so it'll be a lot easier. It's easy to do on this. Um, don't worry, we're not just going to keep the L brackets like that. We're going to put some triangles on the side, and, uh, yeah, just to keep it nice and strong, stop it from flexing. Anything you want to add? Okay. Other than that? Really trying to get this done. One of our mates isn't too well at the moment, so uh, it was his wish to uh, get the strict truck done. So it's given us a bit of motivation, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So George, if you're watching this, we're doing this and working hard for you. Um, we love you lots, and uh, you'll get through what you're getting through, mate. Honestly, um, the only other issue we got is for top mounts. We haven't really figured out what we're going to do that because they are fitting in this here so they're gonna to have to come in at an angle oh no we can't put a bracket there then can we no hmm I that yeah well that's going then see you later i'll go to get the uh, grinder uh, so that's the brackets charlie so they're gonna be bolted to the subframe we've got to make some rear ones for the back we're gonna to have to bolt it right here because we don't want to get rid of this cross member and we're gonna have to get rid of that oh yeah we're getting rid of that one. Oh yeah we are getting rid of that one yeah um, and then yeah, I've got to make another two for the back and it'll be a case of just welding these onto the chassis and we've got to get it all straight because it ain't straight in the truck yet. It'll be savage. Woo! Almost as sexy as I look in the mornings. We're back, day number two of subframe swap. So what we've done is, I've got lots of energy today, I've just had an energy drink and I sound quite posh, I don't know why. But what we've done is make a nice big beefy L bracket. And uh, yeah, we've got some nice welds from our friend Charlie. Let's see, and a big boy welder, rather than our little todger. So, uh, <laughs> so what Charlie done is he welded it all up for us and we're tacking it in place um, just until we can get his welder back on it because his welder's massive and I can't get it in my car and I don't want to drive the recovery truck with the welder on the back, I'd rather take the whole truck to him and get it done properly. So, what we've done is made those two, now we've got to make another two, once these are tacked in place, and the subframe's all lined up, I don't know if you see it in the last video, but we used some laser levels, and got it all perfect, the truck's still perfect now, so then we've got to cut out this rear cross member, what has been installed by the previous owner, and uh, yeah, make another two L brackets, and then tack weld them in, and then the rear subframe is in. Only thing we don't know. They're a bit more extreme than L brackets. Yeah, they're uh, hardcore L brackets, let's say. Um, that, that. That's an L bracket. Yeah, that's an L. Here we go. Yeah, that's just a little comparison. Yeah. Be seeing you. <laughs> uh, What's the um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, if we get this in tonight. Oh, that's the other thing we don't know about, actually. PPF. Of course, I've reached your doctor. What he said. To be fair, it might reach that price there. Yeah, but it'd be crap to weld to, though, wouldn't it? 
bolted with a rubber bump. Yeah, but it's round. That's square, that's flat. I could just put another cross member in here, Sean. As you can see, we're making this up entirely as we go along. So we're but documenting we this. Well. Hey! <laughs> so uh, we've been asking Lewis for some advice. There he is. He's uh, pretty boring. He's there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're winging it, to be honest. We've always winged stuff, me and Sean. Well, you see how we took the engine out of the uh, MX-5. <laughs> <Not your wing. laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. So, yeah, we're going to get this in, and then we might actually try and put a front subframe in the front of the truck from an MX-5. I've got one of them. Phil Stanford donated one to me, so. I'm hiding up. Yeah, we've used some eye alignment, but that's like how you align a car, you always want to do the back and then the front. So, uh, we're going to see if we can get that in, which would be really good if we could, because that means I can use. I don't have to make any brackets for an MX-5 rack again, which Phil donated. Um, yeah, and then I might just have to make an adjustment on steering column and maybe put a U-joint in, or a Rose joint in, so it stays in that. Don't know yet. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we're gonna to come to that bridge when we cross to it. Um, it's eight o'clock now. We plan on doing an all-nighter. So, uh, well, I do. I didn't get that in my mind. <laughs> So I've uh, got some drinks in and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So see you in a little bit. So at this point guys, uh, we really got into the swing of things as you can see from the video now. Um, here's some of the mounts we made up uh, before getting them properly welded. So we tacked them, we only got a little hobby welder. So I went to a friend who welded them up properly for us. As you can see, there was loads of heat in there. Um, so we know everything's nice and strong here it is pretty much on the subframes and then it just had to be welded to the chassis um, made sure that was done again with a big welder strong welder rather than the little one you can see here now we're going to see the back of the truck how it's pretty much going to be so it's going to be all open up and space framed i'm not going to run a tailgate so everything should be seen and again at this point uh subframes in i've got a bit of three by two timber for my suspension but it does hold its own weight we can jack it up and it does pretty much sit there so again the we've already tacked it here to the chassis had to get it re-welded so it was nice and strong but it's basically come from a solid axle and leaf setup to fully independent rear so that's really cool thank you to charlie and sean who've helped me with the welding uh, without this uh, without you it wouldn't be possible Thank <laughs> you.